<laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh my god, dude. What is happening everyone? Joey here and we got Logan and we're on the TDE and we're going for Logan's PB today. The snapper bite's been pretty good. We're looking for big mangroves. We're not looking for 10, 12, 14 inch mangroves. We're looking for 10, 12, 14 pound mangroves. And a lot of people don't even think mangroves get that big. These are the real deal. Um, I saw a lot of them when I dove in one of my last videos, if you remember that. So we're back today. We got the bait, we got the rods. And we're gonna get down on some mangrove action. We're just drifting baits backwards. We got a little bit of lead on there. And the way I like to do is open bail, rod tip up, and then feel it going down. You're not really ever putting any real tension on it. And you're just waiting to feel that pop, that little thump. They must have like a LA Fitness down there where they work out at this spot, huh? I guess. Oh my god, dude. Nice. Smaller one, but still good, good eating mangrove. Perfect eating. Oh. Good. Spitting up our chum. Getting in that snapper zone. Palm that reel if you need to. Yes. All right, Logan's got him beat from the bottom. Now we just got to get him up past sharks. Coming over this way? Yeah. What do you got? Nice snapper? Yeah. Oh. Come on. Oh, he came off. Did he really? Yeah. Oh, sorry, dude, I got thumped. That's, yeah, you're, 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 you got thumped and there's nothing to do. Uh, oh, Logan just had a nice mangrove. That wasn't that crazy big. All right, grab the net for mine, then yep. since you don't have a rod out. I lost Logan's for him. That was probably my fault the way I was balancing the rod. All right, I got, this one's not a giant, but he's a good one. Yeah. There we go, another mangrove. <laughs> Woohoo, doggy. What happened there, Logan? You had one on. Got it to the top, you spit it, dude. I was too slow on the net job, no, but we just it. put two more in there. This is, oh, pull, 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 pull. Just keep working, just like that. There we go, there we go. Give me one for the day, baby. Come Logan's on. got a snap up. Gosh, that was. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, come on, buddy. Get up. Oh my god. Yeah. It got color. That's a good fish. That cut Don't worry about that after. Oh my god. Slob grub. Oh, you got something under it. Sure it's under it. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. That's the mangrove we're after, oh, baby! That's <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Keep him down, keep him down. What do you got? Like, what's, what is that? That is the biggest mangrove I've ever hooked. <laughs> Caught hook in line. Oh my wow, god! Dude. I told you they get big out here. What is that? Like 14, 15 pounds? That is. Oh my god, that's the. That might be bigger than any mangrove I've ever shot. I've never seen a mangrove that big. Pull that <laughs> I'm in shock right now. That's so sick. <laughs> See, you gotta fucking yank these things. Is that, is that a good one, Luke? Yeah. It's, yeah, it's good. Now that is a grown mangrove snapper on the 6000 Salt X. 
That's a 14 pounder, man. I'm calling it right now. We'll put them on the scale later. But that is a giant. Do what? Is the biggest mangrove snapper of my life. We're gonna go get him on ice. So I told Logan we were coming out for some big mangroves. He didn't know they got this big, but that is my biggest mangrove ever. Stud. That's gotta be a 14 pound fish, 13, 14 pounds. We'll get him on the stick or on the scale later. Let's right now my line's really tight on the reel because I was pulling that fish so hard. There he is. Oh, I got stole. You got a second to set the hook. I missed that one. It's also nice if you can shut the bail in between letting line out, but the current's just going too fast right now. But yep, I missed that one. There you go. Keep cranking on him. We got color. That's a better one. Swamp grub. <laughs> there you go. Woo! Sick. Last one of the day. There you go. Nice, dude. I'm so I gotta drop one more. That's fine. Self a PB mangrove. There you go. Bony. That's a nice mangrove snapper. <laughs> we got another one on. I don't need the net. You don't? No, we're good. Nice mangrove. Got him right behind the boat. Come on, buddy. Flip or die. We'll put him in the cooler in a minute. So we're just getting back in now. Logan's pulling out some of the fish. We're kind of sorting them back through the ice. Gonna get them ice down really good for the ride home. Camera's balancing, because I got it on a rig right now, but we got the two damn easy behind us. It did some work today. And we're gonna get some pictures for it real quick. All right. Logan and I are done fishing for the day, but the video is far from over and you're gonna wanna stick around. This is something pretty cool. I've shown it on my channel before, but the channel has grown a lot since then. So we're at the filet station, but we're not filleting a fish yet. We got the cooler. That's my igloo cooler. We had that on the boat today with wheels. I know kind of weird, but I don't have my big cooler right now because a rat decided to chew all sorts of stuff under the hood of my truck and my truck's been in the shop and it's really, really annoying and like $1,300 and they don't have all the parts. They can't find the parts. It's super annoying. I don't like rats. We're gonna be doing a rat catching cook coming up soon eventually. But what we're doing right now, looks like a second grade arts and crafts station set up right here, because that's right, we're doing a fish rub. For those of you who don't know, stick around. Everything here cost me 10 bucks, except the knife, I already had that. But got a bunch of paints, they're usually like 50 cents each. We got our fish iced down really good. That monster is all the way at the bottom and that's the one we're gonna be using. That's the one we're gonna be using for this and it is not wasting the fish. I'll say that now, I'll say it throughout the video. People are still gonna think we're wasting the fish. We're not wasting the fish. Acrylic paints, non-toxic, rinse them off, flay them up, they're all good. Uh, but what we're doing, we're making a fish rub or a gayutaku, I believe it's called. I'm sure I'm saying that's wrong. that wrong. It's a Japanese art form uh, where you're using the actual fish to create a replica. So it's the exact size of your fish really cool alternative to getting the normal fiberglass mounts done no hate travis brown's taxidermy go to them awesome awesome work 
but we're not doing a fiberglass mount right now. We are doing a fish rub. So let's go ahead, find that big old snapper in there and get him prepped up. Look at those tails. And then look at that giant tail in the back. Oh my God, that thing is huge. All right, how do we get this guy out? That is a beast of a snapper. First thing we're gonna do is rinse him off sediment shade that is an absolute giant snapper so I do not have my digital scale because of course it is in my truck but we got the boga here let's see what we're working with it's like 14 and a half pounds just under 15 pounds I will put it on a digital scale I got a friend coming up here that wants to see it so we're gonna Put it on a digital scale, we'll give you an official measurement weight later, but that is a 14 to 15 pound fish all day long. Let's get started on this slob grove replica. So first thing we're gonna do is hose off some slime. Then we're gonna come by with a paper towel and dry them off and kind of wipe off some of that slime. Lemon juice or lime juice works really, really well too. I just don't have any of it right now and didn't feel like getting any. Um, make sure you get the fins really good gets in those fins and then on these spikes you got to kind of stand them up and dry them out also so I'm gonna do this a little bit and then get set up for the next step we got the fish mostly dried off you'll see I have a bunch of extra paper plates I use these paper plates to place around the fish areas like the tail because there is slime down there and we want the tail propped up a little bit I'll also do it on the fins and then do one down under the head where it was also having some slime. So I'm gonna get some colors going on this paper plate. What I'm gonna do is kind of get a base of white. I'm gonna mainly do that on the bottom. So you wanna go thick enough so that you're covering the fish, but thin enough that you still will get the scale pattern when you peel it off. So, something like that is good. You want to be able to see that scale pattern. I'm going to go all the way up. Then we're going to get a little bit of red and pink together. I mean, uh, red and white together. A little thick back there, so we're going to have to keep going over it. fade the fish into it. Dark lips. Scariest and coolest step of all, being sure to only touch the fish right when we want to, we're gonna take a piece of fabric, go across the whole fish, and then lay it down on him. And starting at the inside, or center of the fish, I should say, and moving our way out, trying not to get wrinkles. Doing good so far. Wrap that head. Follow the contour of the body. Get those fins. Got that fin up there too. Might have to go put some more detail in. It looks like I might not have had enough paint on that fin. So now we're gonna peel it up. Make sure we got the nose. There we go. Front of the lips see how it turned out here's that first pull we did you can see I didn't quite have enough paint on the tail 
I'm also outside, so it's drying really fast. This acryl acrylic paint dries crazy fast, but that you can still get a perfect measurement or near perfect measurement, we'll call it. Now the next one I think turned out a lot better. You can see right there, I didn't quite push the head down good all the way, but you can see all the scales, fins look a lot better. I like that one a lot. That is my PB mangrove snapper. Now we're gonna come over to our big old mangrove snapper right here and just hit him with the hose because it's acrylic paint. Non-toxic acrylic paint washes right off. We'll get him in the ice, get him really cold again. It's still pretty cold, I'm sure. It's only been a few minutes. And then we'll fillet him up. Filleting this guy right now. We're just gonna come right down the backbone. Got a really sharp knife here. Once we hit the backbone, we're gonna kinda angle the knife up just for a split second and get it right back over the backbone, following those bones down on the other side, about a third of the way through the fish. Keeping the knife angled down, we're gonna ride those bones right out through the back. Getting right over the back right there. Keeping the knife at a downward angle. Now we're at the rib, so I'm kind of cupping my hand and holding the head right there. And with a rocking motion, we're gonna pop up through the ribs. As long as you're careful, you shouldn't have an issue of cutting through into your hand, even though you're cutting towards yourself. Now I got the knife angled up. And we're just gonna kind of finish our cut up through the skin. And my hand will stop slipping. We have a beautiful mangrove snapper fillet there and look how clean that is. We're gonna go ahead, repeat that on the other side and then skin them.